We made it to Friday morning, Glads. I'm Maddie Hager. And I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. First, here's news from the Counseling Center. Juniors, CSU Fort Collins is here today in the Lower Commons. If you have a pass, remember to let your fourth hour teacher know you will be gone for this presentation, especially since we're on an assembly schedule. Coming up on Tuesday, April 24th, is the presentation by the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team. This will be at 6.30 in the WHS Auditorium. Bring your parents and join them in the recent Academy grads who can answer any questions you may have. May is right around the corner and the reps from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona will be visiting us on the 3rd to share their school's information. Seniors, cap and gowns will be here next week, April 24th, during lunch in the auditorium. To make this process go smoothly, your order should be paid in full and you will need a photo ID when you stop by to pick up your order. If you need to pick up announcement orders, check with Mrs. Abeda. She'll take care of you. Seniors, it is critical for us to clear any conditions and fees we owe before graduation so we can receive our diplomas on time. See Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to clear those fees. Also, remember to return your library materials by April 26th. For underclassmen, you also need to check Infinite Campus to determine if you are on conditions and get those fees paid before the end of the year so, you, so we can get our grades on time. Your last day to check out library materials is next Thursday and the deadline to return them is May 10th. Before we break for Miss Betsy, we'd like to congratulate the Wind Symphony and Symphonic Band for earning superior ratings on Wednesday at the Chassa Contest. Congratulations to all our talented musicians. You all rock. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria to see what she has in the oven for lunch today. Good morning and happy Friday. Today we're going to have fried chicken with pasta salad and on Monday hot wings and fries. So see you then. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, please clear this too before graduation or final exams. You can add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. Speaking of eating, the freshman class is hosting a fundraiser at Panda Express at the store on Highway 8587 on April 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. Snag a flyer from a freshman council member or Mrs. Hines in the math department. Then bring it with you to Panda and a portion of your bill will go to the freshman council. Glads, if you are looking for something for nothing, check out the free book cart in the library. If you love reading and want to grow your personal library, see Mrs. HK for details and get some free books. It's Spirit Week and we have the prom assembly this afternoon and of course promise tomorrow when we come back we'll have information for other events happening next week but first here's marissa trujillo with our gladiator sports update Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Mr. Stitcher Hill with your Gladiator Sports Update. It's Spirit Week, and today is our Color War Day. The dodgeball tournament finishes up today at lunch with a championship game. The winner of the tournament will take on the teachers this afternoon at the prom assembly. Will the geezers pull out the win, or will the youngins prevail? It's going to be a great match. Ladies, remember volleyball open gyms are every Wednesday in Bowers Gym from 315 to 415 until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Cheer tryouts will be happening next week on April 24th through the 26th in the small gym from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Pick up a trial packet in the front office. Want to join the elite team that helped the marching band become a 2017 quarter finalist and then became a 2018 winter guard finalist team? Auditions for fall color guard will take place from April 30th to May 3rd in Bowers Gym. Please note the times are different for Wednesday and for the finals on Thursday. These tryouts are open to ladies and gentlemen in all grade levels. Wear workout type clothes and come learn something new. No experience is necessary. For more information, contact Coach Laswell at the email address. In Ultimate Frisbee news, the team is back at the El Pomar Fields this Saturday for the city tournament with their first game at 9 a.m. against Coronado. When the team takes out Coronado, they will square up against a university school at 11 a.m. This is an all-day event, so come check it out and dress warmly. It's going to be a cold one. Our ladies played against the Canyon City Tigers on Thursday afternoon and tamed those Tigers in easy set. The ladies are back on the home court against Fountain Valley today starting at 4 p.m. Windy conditions canceled the swim meet on Tuesday afternoon, but the boys will travel today to jump back into the pool and put Pueblo for a meet against Pueblo Centennial at 5 p.m. After schooling Harrison on Tuesday night, the boys in blue swung for the fences at their pink game against Canyon City on Thursday afternoon, but they got stuck in a pickle and added a loss to their scorecard. Stay tuned next week for information on rescheduled games for the baseball team. For now, plan to watch them on April 27th when they take on Sierra at home at 4 p.m. In track and field news, the Gladiator team is headed to Found Fort Carson today and tomorrow for their next meet. Mother Nature may cause some delays, so stay tuned for results on Monday. After their awesome win over Mesa on Tuesday night, the ladies traveled to TCA on Thursday afternoon to repeat the magic. 
but they fell short of the win and added a loss to their books. Now here's Doc of the Health Tip of the Week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your Health Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about sunscreen. I know the weather's been kind of finicky, but we're getting outdoors more and we need to wear sunscreen. Even when there's cloud coverage, the ultraviolet light comes through and that can cause us to burn. It also causes cellular death, so the skin cells are dying. That's what happens during a sunburn. So it's important to wear sunscreen to block the ultraviolet light that is coming onto our skin. After years of exposure to ultraviolet light, we can develop things like skin cancer. Skin cancer can be very damaging to our health. So to prevent skin cancer, we want to wear sunscreen. The best sunscreens are the ones with a higher UV rating. So 30, 40, 50 SPF. This means that it's blocking out 30, 40, 50% of the ultraviolet light for the amount of time that it says it can control on the bottle, which is normally about two to four hours. So with sunscreen, you have to reapply every two to four hours. So make sure you get outside but wear your sunscreen and stay safe. Thanks, Doc. Even if you don't think you need sunscreen, put it on anyway. Your skin will thank you. And finally, the final spirit week of this school year closes out today with Color Wars. We've had a great time seeing all of the fun outfits everyone wore. Thanks to Student Cabinet for planning these events and spirit days to everyone who participated. You have awesome power. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this weekend. I'm Marissa Trahill. Now back to you, Maddie and John. Thanks, Marissa. GLADS, NHS is hosting tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory until final exams. Pick up a pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. They will have computers available for you. Juniors and seniors, the masquerade prom is tomorrow from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Today is the last day to get your mask approved. Please see Mrs. Molino in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school today. Keep in mind that tomorrow night, masks in the ballroom area are great, but in the general hotel areas, they're not. Most importantly, GLADS, have a great time at prom. And here are your prom king and queen candidates. Your queen nominees are Shalom Barris, Cameron DeLeon, Isabella Galvedon, Anna Montoya, and Courtney Stroop. And your King nominees are Cordell Cardenas, Isaac Gillette, Lucas Lacey, Markel Lambert, and Trey Pierre. Winners will be revealed on Saturday night at the prom, and we'll have that news for you on Monday. If you are interested in a career in psychology, mark your calendars for the guest speaker at FCCLA is bringing to Whitefield High School next week on Thursday, April 26th, during advisory. We don't have a location yet, so stay tuned on Monday for that information. See Mrs. Tuji or Miss Ship for a pass. Next Thursday, April 26th, is also WSD3's observance of a Day Without Hate initiative. Students are asked to exhibit positive and kind behaviors which demonstrate demonstrate our intolerance of hate and violence. Students are asked to wear white in support of the initiative. If your advisory classes are creating posters, they are due on April 24th to room 130 for the Power Club to judge. The advisory class with the winning poster will earn a pizza party. Stop by the UMB Bank on Security Boulevard next week to check out the annual High School Artist Showcase. This showcase will feature artwork produced by our peers here at Whitefield High School. The opening reception is on May 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come check out the outstanding artwork our peers have created. If you don't get a chance to see the work right away, the show will be on display until May 4th. Seniors, listen up. The yearbook staff has a great deal for you. For only $80, you can buy this year's yearbook along with one other book from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year. It's a great deal and you should totally jump on it now. See the business office to make that purchase. If you like music of all sorts, you must come to Cabaret Night on April 26th at 5 p.m. in the WHS cafeteria. Choir students will be showcasing their talents with a variety of music and songs. Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. Come enjoy some amazing musical selections sung by our talented choir students. That's all our news today. I'm Maddie Hager. Remember, we're on an assembly scheduled today for the prom assembly. And I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. <laughs>